not the ones that are in your garage in your basement and no matter how many times you tell me that you have a basement full of crickets that you can give me i don't want them wrong breed well, these little things don't look like anything like the crickets i'm used to it's because they're not like the crickets that you're used to so here at jiminy crickets we raise Acada domesticus, which is also known as the common house cricket. For those of you who have some sort of an exotic pet or that have spent some time in a pet store, they might look a little bit familiar. They are the go-to for feeder insects if you have an exotic pet of any form. So think like bearded dragon, some spiders, toads, frogs, all of that. If you have one of those really high maintenance pets, chances are you've run across Decatur Domesticus before. So for those of you who haven't, and this is your first foray into Decatur Domesticus, the common house cricket is not native here in the US. It is native to parts of Asia, Southeast, Southwest Asia, warmer climates. That's where it's guessed that they originated. And then back in around the 1950s, they became the go-to for feeder insects and for research. And because of that, they spread worldwide in terms of their distribution, but again, not in terms of their natural habitats and their natural colonies. Here in the US, all 50 states, they're a non-invasive species risk because A, they don't survive in the cooler temperatures, and B, they're typically smaller than most of the native crickets or other insects, and they just end up becoming a snack because although most people don't think about it, uh, some insects are actually omnivores, so they eat both leafy greens and plant material and all of that, but when given the opportunity, they will eat another insect because it is a great source of nutrients for them. Crickets are like that. They are opportunistic omnivores, so Acada domesticus, or the common house cricket, frequently becomes a snack when they are in the wild. If the birds don't get them, the native crickets will. So our little brown crickets, like I said, common house cricket, not like the ones that you are used to seeing, particularly if you are around in the Midwest. The most common cricket that I think people find in their basement or in their garage is the field cricket. And that's the, the black crickets that most people anecdotally talk about finding in the fall. Those ones typically have a, a harder exoskeleton. That's where Acada domesticus became a delicacy in parts of Thailand and became the preferred breed of crickets, although there are many, many different breeds of crickets. Acada domesticus, or the common house cricket, became the preferred for parts of Thailand as a delicacy because of their superior taste and texture. So that's one of the many reasons that we chose them. It is also legal to ship them live across all 50 state lines without any sort of special permitting or anything like that. The other common human consumption cricket is the banded cricket personally i can't stand their shrill chirp and i think that the cated domesticus or the common house cricket tastes better so we raise cated domesticus